This is Matt and this is a quick video on how to cancel a PayPal subscription. So I'm logged into my PayPal account, as you can see right here, uh, and you'll see that I've uh, had to obscure and kind of uh, remove a lot of the things here for privacy reasons, obviously. Uh, but yeah, this is my PayPal account. So in order to actually cancel a subscription, we're going to click come up to the very top. We've got this gear cog icon right here. So this is the main setting. So we click on that one. So right next to logout. And once that is opened and we have the main account settings, we're going to come over three across to payments right here. So we click on payments. And then about halfway down, we've got automatic payments. So we're going to click on that one right there. So sometimes with automatic payments, you'll have uh, things. Sometimes you might not even remember signing up for them or you might have kind of clicked an extra button during the purchase process and it's kind of been added to your account. So sometimes you'll want to cancel these manually uh, within PayPal. So these are payments that will be charging you on a regular basis. So either monthly or yearly or every two months or whatever the uh, setup is. So you see Netflix, I've got every month right here. And there's a few others. If you're wondering what Glossybox is, this is something I buy for my wife. Uh, so we've got that one there. So yeah, Netflix is monthly, this one's monthly. Some of these others are yearly. MongoDB, which we're gonna do in just a moment, is actually monthly as well, as you'll see in just a second. So these are payments, like I say, that are going out on a regular basis. Sometimes you'll have things listed here in Show Active that are essentially active, as in you have at some point allowed the uh, transaction to be um, added here, that the subscription has been added but they won't actually be taking money from you every single month. So I thought I'd note that as an important distinction. You might have things here that aren't in fact charging you on a regular basis, whether it's yearly or monthly, but they're just here just because you have activated that subscription at some point and they might not actually be charging you. So it's important to click into them and see what has been going on on your account. And we'll do that now. So we've got this MongoDB one, which is a database software that I pay for monthly. I do actually want to cancel this one. So I'm going to click on that one. What we'll see here again, I've had to obscure some things, uh, but we can see that the payments are going out on the second of the month right here. So you see it's charging me slightly different US dollar amounts uh, based on a month. And I can actually click on see all payment activity and it will show me all of the charges that have gone out for that particular subscription, which in this case is MongoDB Limited. So I want to actually cancel this one. So let's go back. So I just wanted to show you that that is uh, the option you get here as far as you know it's important to actually check what you've paid just in case you have sub been subscribed to something uh, potentially dodgily and you want to actually fight that you need to look at the payment activity and make sure that you have all your ducks in a row so if you want to actually cancel this subscription which is the point of this video right at the very top you see where it says active this one is active i'm going to click on cancel in order to actually cancel that subscription. So PayPal now tells us that cancel your future pre-approved payments to MongoDB Inc. If you cancel now, you will have to set up pre-approved payments again to pay with PayPal. So you can keep the pre-approved payments or you can choose to stop them. So we're going to click on stop and we're all set. You've successfully canceled your pre-approved payments to MongoDB Inc. Great, so we click on done and you now see that MongoDB Inc is in fact inactive. And you see the inactive ones will show up here. I've actually got loads of inactive ones. If I click more, if I click show more. So back to show active, these are my four ones that are active, the only ones that I currently have a subscription for. So that will now stop all payments from automatically going out from my PayPal, no matter what card you have that link to. So that is how you do it. That is how you cancel subscriptions. Uh, you might be able to cancel your subscription directly uh, from the provider if it's some sort of service, like you could go to MongoDB, uh, the website from your account and actually do it that way. But this is a fail safe way. This is, we'll just literally cut off the funds at the source, literally. So if you're paying something with PayPal, this is how you just kill that. If you can't get into your account or something and you can't actually cancel that account and they're still taking money from you, this is a great way to actually choose to cancel your card payment and it will no longer go through no matter what card or payment source you have set up here on PayPal, uh, MongoDB has been canceled. So hopefully this video on how to cancel a subscription on 
PayPal has been helpful for you. If it has, drop this video a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Mm -hmm.